Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Alright viewers, from the sounds of it, uh, from what we heard from Fidan here, it sounds like not only do they, have a, uh, do they have a geth problem, but they have also got a problem with basic resources as well, like power, water, and food. And he did direct us to speak to a few people, like Devin Reynolds, May O'Connell, and Maka Doyle, so we'll go find them. There, there, dear. You'll get through this. Just relax. What's going on over here? My headaches are getting better. I just have to stop thinking about the past. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Huh. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, I can't think of any reason for an attack like this. We just wanted to build a home. Okay. I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know... Uh... I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. I'll be fine. I can't see anything significant, but something is clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. Wow, that's... a lot of stress, I guess, but... Just, oh, we've got a codex entry. That's actually... I'm not gonna bother looking at it because it is a secondary one, so... Hey, Devin Reynolds, here's one of them. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Good point. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. All right. I have to go. So long, Commander. I'll keep that in mind. All right, anybody in here? Hey, another terminal. It's on here. Cargo logs. While decrypting these logs, you found something suspicious. Several months' worth of human rations were delivered to an uncharted world in the Voyager cluster. The logs aren't clear, but it appears they may have been dropped off somewhere in the Amazon system. You know, I'm sure those are rations that these guys could very well use, but... Oh well. Alright. Hey, May O'Connell. See if she has anything we, we can do for her. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, technology. Anyways. Market oil. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. All right. I have to go. Yeah. I wish you luck. Well, we could fly water in, but honestly, considering how vital water is to human survival, I don't think we could be able to... Uh, I don't think we'd be realistically be able to keep coming back kind of thing with it, so... We'll see if we can do something about that for them. Hey, is it Solarian? Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Oh, sure. Let me see what you have. Of course. 
I may be able to provide a few interesting items. All right. And this guy sells a whole bunch of Halyat Armory stuff. And I actually want to buy the Stiletto 5. It is going to be the best pistol we have right now. And since we have Caden, that's the only weapon to use. So I'm actually going to buy it. I would actually, if you've got somebody along the uh, along for the ride, like Caden, I can only use one weapon. I'd highly recommend buying the best that you can from him. So that's the only weapon I'm going to buy. So let's equip it on him. Which also means the Stinger 2 is officially obsolete. Uh, yeah, the Stiletto to him and Stinger 4 there. And the Stinger 2 actually is very inexpensive to sell, so I'm just going to Omnigel it. Alright, so that's taken care of. Let's see if there's anybody else around here that needs some help. Hanamurakami. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but Fidan, what's the report on... I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. That's strange. I, I I can't talk right now. I'm busy. Sounds distracted, but not in the way you'd think they would be. Let's go uh, talk to Fidan again, see if he can uh, help clear things up for us. Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. All right. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. All right. So, we need to go do a few things, but first, obviously, the number one thing, we need to get rid of the Geth in the tunnel. So let's go take care of that, and then I guess we'll, uh, well, with them out of the way, we'll be able to help them out with the uh, the food, the water, and the power. So, yeah, so, water valves, yeah, we'll worry about that later, but anyways, all right, let's go. Let's get everybody equipped. Uh, everybody's equipped properly. Yes, all right. Let's go. To the Skyway. I guess this must be the way to the tunnels. Hmm. Nothing down here. Finally, some action. Uh oh. Oh God, they're everywhere. Good job, guys. I hardly got anything in that one. <laughs> Negative wow. contacts, Commander. We get anything out of that? Polonium rounds. Hey, what do you know? We can actually uh, omnidge out the last chemical rounds. Sweet. Alright. And yep, we're at the bottom. What do we got here? Oh, this is rather wide open. Uh, nothing over there, so let's... Oop, we got hostiles. Alright, pistol and... Uh, yeah, okay. This ought to be interesting. Hey, water valve. Sweet. That sounds interesting. Let's see if we can do anything about it. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Oh, cool. We may be able to do this all at once. 
But let's take care of the levels first. All right, uh, let's get that. Ashley. Uh, yeah, let's get her up to immunity as well. Caden, let's give him that. And we're good to go. Yes. Door there, door there. But we're not done out here yet, so let's just keep going. Oop, more hostiles. Oh! Just a sniper rifle out. Ashley. Ah, crap, she's blocked. It's gonna switch her over to the sniper rifle, but yeah, that will. Clear. Oop, what was that? Hey, another water valve. There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated though. We should keep looking. Alright. How many of those things do we need? Three of them. Oh, okay, so there's one more around here. Alright. Nope. And no containers or anything like that. Alright. Ian Newstead. What are you doing down here, bud? Yeesh. You don't want to go down there. What's back there? I could tell you. Tell you everything. How would you like that? No! Ah! <sighs> That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm Trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> He's lost it. We should just leave him be. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out! What the? Take him out! Oh, oh. All right. Tag him. Anymore? You doing alright, bud? I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't do it. Alright, well. Unfortunately, it looks like the only thing we can do to help him right now is keep the geth off him. How many else down here? No. But looks like we gotta go to back down there anyway. He was definitely acting strange. Alright, we got A or B. Let's go with A. Whoa! Hostiles. Alright, uh, any specific way I want to get the carnage out. Oh, hello! Actually, they look clumped close enough that we can probably use a grenade. 
What do I have equipped? Hey, medical interface. Awesome. Nice. Kind of glad I did that. All right, what do we got here? Uh, let's, th let's give it to her. Let's give the number three to Shepard. Might as well, I'm gonna jail that thing. There we go. Oh, yeah, I was gonna check which grenade I've got. High explosive? Yeah, let's make sure we got it. What the? Krogan! Bye, right, guys. Get back. We're not prepared for this battle. Bump their microphone. <laughs> Incendiary rounds. Transmitter tower. Let me guess. Nice. Alright, guys. You get over there. I'll take care of this. Alright. Journal updates. And. Uh, yeah, let's get the tunnels. Yeah, all right, so that was the Geth transmitter. Awesome. All right, so we've got that taken care of. Now we just need to find the last water valve and find some Varen meat and, uh, or at least help with the Varen problem and find some power cells, hopefully. But yeah, if we're going to be facing uh, Krogan as well, let's switch this over to the incendiary rounds. Since it works on both very effectively, uh, geth and. or synthetic and flesh. Alright, well, let's see what's in here. What the? Uh, assault rifle. <laughs> Why am I alone? Where'd you go, guys? Well, I'm guessing you guys got stuck back here. Where are you guys? Whoa. I suppose I should have told them to rally to my point before I left. Good job keep, uh, following orders, guys. That was my bad. <laughs> but... Enemy sighted! Alright, let's make sure we're all equipped properly. Ashley, we're gonna need flesh stuff here, so let's get her on the uh, anti-personnel. Caden, as well. Oh, he's got incendiary runs on already. Alright, here we go! the alpha. The Varen falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the alpha male, a pack leader of these feral scavengers. Wow. Area secured. That is one big mouth. I wonder if we got any codex entries on those things. Yes, After we did. Varan are omnivores, with a preference for living prey. Originally native to the Krogan homeworld of Tuchanka, they are, like most life from Tuchanka, savage, clannish, and consummate survivors. They are pack hunters when vulnerable prey is readily available, and become scavengers when outnumbered or outclassed. Their supreme adaptability, vicious demeanor, and rapid breeding cycle have made them ubiquitous and dangerous pests on many worlds. Virtually everywhere the Krogan have been, Varan infestations have followed, 
wreaking havoc with the native ecology. The Krogan have had a love-hate relationship with Varan for millennia, alternately fighting them for territory and embracing them as treasured companions. To this day, Krogan raise them as beasts of war. One of the common subgenus of Varan has metallic silver scales, leading to the rather unusual nickname, Fish Dogs. <laughs> a Peruvian nickname nonetheless, but that must be why the... Uh... It sounds like they're very territorial, so that's probably why they attack anything, including the, uh, the Geth. Alright, anything else up here? Yeah, sludge canister. A couple of containers, anyway. Uh, explosive tungsten rounds. What's in here? Power cells? Ooh, no, we got another pistol, though. That is actually a very good pistol. I don't think it's as good as what we've got, though. Which one was it? The Reku 5. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a good one. <laughs> it's not better than the Stiletto 5, I don't know. It's actually better than the Stiletto 5. Awesome. Alright, so let's give that to Caden then. He gets Stiletto 5, and she gets Stiletto 4. Great. Uh... Nope, Stinger 4 is actually better than a Stiletto 4. Alright. I'm glad I uh, found that out before it was too late. Alright. Numbers. Charts. They're supposed to be easy, but... Uh... Hey, hey! Hey, we got some power cells. Awesome! So we took care of the, uh, the Varen. Took care of the power cells. Got two of the three water mains turned on. I wonder where the third one is, but... Let's make sure we're all set and ready to go. And yep, got rid of the Alpha Varen. Power cells, got the power cells. Awesome. So now we just need to find that last water valve. Oh, I hear Geth. Let's get the shotgun out again. Oh, hello. Come on, Caden. Ah. Oh, hello. Get the sniper out there, Ashley. Is that it? Perimeter clear. Uh, didn't get anything out of that. All right, let's go. Good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> and there we go, the third water main. I think we're in business. The water system is back online, Commander. Sweet. All right. So came down here to take care of the Geth, but we managed to restore water, get some power cells, and take care of the. Uh, Varen problem. So let's head back up and give Zeus Hope the good news. And find out if they know anything about Ian down there. Actually, I suppose I should put her back on this for now. No more back spawns. Huzzah. <laughs> Alright. Looks like everybody... It's nice and quiet here, so... Looks like we're done with that. Commander? What can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. 
We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Mm, I guess there's some truth to that. If he doesn't want to be helped, there isn't much he can do. In any case, let's talk to Davin, give him the good news. Hello again, Commander. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. All right. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. Oh, thank you. All right. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now, if I can keep these power cells in place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. Wow, I mean, what little they have, they're being generous. Oh, let's... The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again, Commander. Wow. Well, the importance of us getting rid of the Geth has just skyrocketed. Alright. So, maybe she's doing something better. I, I, I can't talk right now, I'm busy. Alright. Still kind of freaked out there, but... Alright, so these poor people have actually had it in their heart to bless us for the small thing that we've done in terms of, you know, restoring power to them, water and food, but, I mean, we may have stopped some of the Geth for now, but there's a lot more to be done here, and that includes, I guess, heading up to Exogeny headquarters and finding out exactly what Saren was after. But I guess we'll have to wait until, you know, Hopefully next time, but if not, we're going to have to start making our way up there next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.